Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a little while since I've uploaded, about two weeks I think, but now we're going to be doing a repotting video because I have a lot to do. I feel like it would probably make up for missing out on like two weeks, but I've been really busy, really stressed out. So that was much needed. So there's so much to repot. There's just seven in this room, but the rest are waiting in the living room. And I'm gonna have to go out and grab them and bring them in every so often. And do that, we've got a lot in for us today. And I look like super bulky right now. It's because this sweater is like probably three sizes too big. So anyways, we're just gonna get into it. So I have my soil down here. It's just sitting in like, here I'll show. It's just sitting in like this big bin down here. And I'm just gonna be doing it real quick, honestly. And we're gonna talk a little, I suppose. And yeah, I'm just gonna fill these things up with dirt and hope for the best. I have some orchid mix over here too. And I know a lot of people have issues with miracle Grow, but I don't, I just don't care. That's all my place had, so that's what I use. So I'm probably gonna put that in with some of the ones that need a little bit more drainage. Probably gonna put it in this one. This is a Monstera Minima, Philodendron Monstera Min Minima. Never heard of it, but it's cute. That is what she looks like needs water. I have it going in a pot that doesn't have a drain hole, but it has um one of these uh just like nursery pots, but it has um a little drainage system at the bottom. So we're going to use that and I'm going to put some bark in here because Monstera, at least my bigger one, needed a little bit more drainage than some other plants do. So I'm just going to grab a handful of some orchid bark and shove it in there, mix it around a little. So, mix it, mix it around. I'm gonna try to show as much of this as I can. So, <laughs> this is the pot, and we're gonna take this bad boy out here, and it's got some pretty heavy rootage going on. And I'm just gonna um, loosen up the roots a little, just a little, to make sure I can get it in there well. Okay, so it is in a pot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in here and I'm gonna tie the back portion to it so then it starts to trail up it so it's not just going everywhere. I do have some like tying twine, um, but just like any string will obviously work. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it down like right in here Try not to hit any big roots or anything. I'm going to tie it just connecting the big part back here to the stick. I pulled it up a little tighter so then it isn't just hanging, like dangling on it. Like I want it to start training itself to grow upward. So I kind of brought these two pieces up and connected it. And I think, I might connect it a little closer down here as well, just like pull it in a little. So I'm gonna do that. And for the next ones I'm repotting, I'm probably gonna lower the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm doing and just kind of film like a montage of it. And it looks like there's a new, some new growth coming out. So I'm gonna try to make sure I don't block it with my tie that I'm doing. Here's what it looks like right now. I'm just trimming off the excess string right now. And then I'm probably just gonna secure it a little better. I'm gonna get rid of this dying leaf at the bottom. So that feels pretty good in there, but I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more like bark to the top just for some extra drainage. So I'm just grabbing some more bark and just adding it up in here on the top. And 
that is what she looks like right now. <laughs> that last string needs cut off, but it needs watered and I think it'll perk up a little bit, but it looks, it looks pretty good. I think I tied it up pretty well. So, um, the main point here is just repotting them right now. They'll get watered afterwards. All right. So I'm going to lower the camera now so you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm actually doing. Dizziness. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, you can see all of me, so fun stuff. Don't really want you to see my feet, but it's okay. I don't want to end up on freaking wiki feet. <laughs> if you're an H3 fan, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we're gonna repot this spider plant, and this is in a little vase that is an antique of some sort. I forget what type it is. Um, but I really like this vase. It does not have a drain hole, but I'm putting it um, in with some extra orchid bark for drainage. And it's a spider plant, so it can handle it. <laughs> so we're just going to add some dirt. Get a cup, get some dirt in there. Fill it up like halfway. There. Um, put a little bit of bark in, just a little. Mix it in. And then I'm going to grab the plant out of here. You guys still can't exactly see what the heck I'm doing, so let me readjust. All right, that's fine. Um, oh, there's actually two spider plants in here that I didn't notice before. And wow, look at those roots. They're super healthy. That's great. Okay, so I'm just gonna loosen the dirt a little, or especially around top. When they get dry and like crusty around top, they like hold the form of the cup. And I don't like that, it bothers me. <laughs> so I'm just loosening the soil around the roots a little and not breaking any of the roots, being very gentle with it. And we're just gonna shove that down in the middle here careful with the roots again. Maybe scoop a little bit out of the middle. Make sure you really get it in there. And add a little bit more dirt because it feels a little loose in there. And spread it around the top. Don't pack the dirt down too hard because you want to make sure uh, the water doesn't sit in one spot. So just make sure it's in there like firmly, but don't pack the dirt down so hard that it's like, has no space to move. Okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of bark to the top, honestly, just because it looks nice. <laughs> that is our spider plant, all potted up and looking cute. Now we're gonna do this ZZ plant. The reason I picked this one for in here is because ZZs are very resilient and this pot, oh wow, this pot does not have um, drainage holes, but one of my longest surviving um, plants grew in this and I still have it to this day and it's doing wonderful. So. I figure as long as I don't water it too much, it'll be fine. And um, there's bark in here as well. So I'm just gonna add some dirt, some bark, especially for the ones I don't have drainage for, just to like be safe. Um, and you know, one of the things I always really like about repotting plants is seeing how cool the like bulbs and the roots look. Like, that looks pretty sick, doesn't it? There's just like a leaf put down in here. I don't know if that's a new plant starting or what, but we'll just keep it there, I suppose. <laughs> Add a little bit more bark in there, more dirt. Right in the middle. Okay. 
gorgeous. Okay, so that is the ZZ plant planted in my, what is this? The Birth of Venus Angels, is that what this is? I don't remember. But two low cherubs. Now we're gonna be doing the Philodendron Moonlight in this pot that does have a drainage hole. I'm not gonna really add a ton of bark to this just because I'm not an overwaterer anyways and philodendron are a little bit more resilient. So I'm hoping I don't jinx myself with this. But I am gonna clean the leaves after all of this. So I might do another video about that because like this is gonna be freaking long. So I'll spare you guys and like make something separate for another day. We're just gonna be careful with this one because I don't want to use all of my bark because I need it for one of the bigger plants that I'm repotting that you'll see. <laughs> okay, Philodendron Moonlight going in. Does not have a ton of super prominent roots sticking out. Try not to break any when you loosen up the dirt. I always loosen up the dirt. Some people don't, but I don't know. It always feels better to me when I do, so I make it a habit of doing it. Sticking this down in here. Again, don't make the dirt super compact. So I'm trying to loosen it up a little around it, but still make it a little firm around the plant. So then it's not, what's the word? Flopping around everywhere. <laughs> okay, that is our philodendron moonlight here. This one also does not have a drainage hole, but it has um, a nursery pot and one of those drain sticks, so I think it'll be okay. But this is a Prince of Orange philodendron. I don't know if I said that or not, but I'm not gonna add a ton of bark to this one either because it doesn't look like it has a ton in the nursery pot. Anyways, let's do this thing. I'm trying to do this relatively quickly because I spent forever on my Monstera in the beginning and I have another huge Monstera to repot. <laughs> I'm just shoving that down in there. Try not to swallow soil. <laughs> okay, that is our Prince of Orange philodendron in a pot. Now we're doing this philodendron Birkin. Um, this one I am, well, no, it has a little drainage, kind of like hidden drain spot in the bottom. So I'm not gonna add bark to this, but. gonna add it in here. I don't really like this pot, but it's fine. I might get some of those like wicker basket planter covers because I don't like my colorful ones. I like the neutral tones because I think they look better. Um, but this is what we have <laughs> for now. Okay, so our philodendron Birkin coming out, maybe. It seems like it's a little stuck as well. Very nice roots. And you know what? I think I am actually gonna add a little bit of bark to this because like, I just hate the pot so much that I want it to look kind of nice. And I think the bark looks better on top than just soil. Plus I think it helps with um, fungus gnats because I know those are a big problem in the winter, but that is the philodendron Bergen and it has a new leaf popping out here, which is always freaking cool. <laughs> Sad Hoya. This is the only sign I'm going to be replying because this one's obviously dead. But it has like this weird thing around it and I think the roots are supposed to grow out of here but I just hate it. But we're going to keep it on there because I don't want to ruin it. Um, but we're just repotting this little Hoya in this hanging basket and see if we can help it. I'm going to put a tad of bark in there. Don't think you need to, because I think Hoya um, have pretty sensitive roots, but I'm just gonna add a little bit. A bit more of the dirt. And we're gonna put a 
put it right in the middle and cover her up. And hopefully we can get some growth out of this or if it dies, then I guess it dies. I don't know. I'm trying to save it because I really like Hoya and I have a Hoya Crimson Princess that does fantastic. And this one is just like, nope, I'm not gonna do that for you. That is the Hoya Crimson Queen that desperately needs water. <laughs> this is a money tree. It looks kind of sad, but I saved it from Target. And it's still in the process of gaining its life back, clearly. <laughs> but it has a new little stem growing out at the top there. So, it has been doing okay. And I'm covering my nose and mouth right now because I don't want dirt in my mouth. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure it's not healthy to like breathe in dirt. It doesn't have super huge roots or anything. They're all pretty bunched up towards the stem. Um, but we're just gonna plop this in here. Might put some bark around it for some more support, but that may also not be necessary. All right, I think that's okay. So this is our money tree repotted. Next, we're gonna do this ogre ear succulent. We're gonna put some regular soil in here and then bark because it's a succulent. And it has a drainage hole, so it'll be okay. And I grew this from like one little piece of it. So I'm pretty proud of this little guy. Okay. And there is our little ogre ear succulent. Now we're gonna do this Stromanthe Trio Star in this technically another uh, nursery pot, but I just figured it looks nicer and this doesn't necessarily need a huge pot, so it'll work. And it's got two new shoots growing and it's doing really well so far. So that's awesome. And this is one of my newer plants that I just got. Putting some more dirt in there. Don't wanna cover up those two new shoots though. And I'll show you up close in a moment. Okay, so the two new shoots coming up are right here. So hopefully it grows more and gets bigger but you can see it has a new leaf unfurling okay now we're gonna be doing this maranta and i'm just gonna put a normal soil in here Okay, so here is our repotted Maranta plant. Not the best looking, but we tried. Okay, now we're gonna repot this silver pothos. And we're just putting in regular dirt. Again, I kind of hate this pot, but it's fine. <laughs> the thing I always hate about these is they never feel like they're secure. <laughs> Like, they always just feel like someone just put a bunch of leaves in a pot and that's it. Like someone put a ton of propagations together and they didn't grow right. So I hope I don't mess this one up because last time I had one of these it died. One thing that annoys me about these plants sometimes is that they are never put in when they've like grown sufficient roots big enough for like all of them, but All right, that is the silver pothos repotted. I think we did okay. <laughs> now we're gonna do this. I think this is a Hawthornia of some sort. Very, very uh, root bound. Yeah, it doesn't have a tag on it. Um, but we're gonna do some plain soil and I can't really break up the roots much on this because of how root bound it is. But basically I'm gonna do some normal soil and then 
throw in some bark. You know, one thing I figured I would mention while I'm on here is that it's kind of been a bit of a rough week for me. Rough past two weeks, if I'm being honest. And like, I really needed to get this done. And I don't, I feel like if I wasn't like intending to film this, it would have taken me so much longer to get it done. So honestly, guys, thank you for freaking watching because I need this motivation. Get this stuff done. And like, when you feel kind of crappy, it's really hard to get things done. So sincerely, thank you for freaking watching. And if you're someone who actively like promotes my channel and like helps me out in that way, that like really does mean a lot <laughs> and helps a lot because like I tend to have kind of a, a try it once and like forget about it mentality sometimes and I didn't want that to happen with my YouTube channel because I kind of wanted it to be something that would be consistent even if I'm like just making videos for a small group of people it's still nice to know that some people watch and want to watch so cause, like I don't know I just appreciate it because especially during quarantine like I made this channel during quarantine and it helps a lot to kind of like keep me from feeling super lonely sometimes because like you know um, we're in quarantine still, so like, life do be kind of lonely sometimes, you know. Anyways, end of story. This is the little Hawthornia repotted and it has a flower growing. Um, it bloomed, but then it went away, so I'm not sure if it's gonna bloom again or what, but that's that. I'm wearing a mask because I don't want dirt in my mouth any further. <laughs> We're going to start repotting a little bit of bigger plants after this one. But this is a little pickle plant and I'm just going to put it in my little dinosaur planter here. So we're going to add a little bit of plain dirt here. I got some in there. Some bark. And Gonna go ahead and stick it down in there on the dirt. Spread it out a little bit. And put a bit more dirt in there. Yeah, I think that'll do. This is my little pickle plant now. It kind of looks like spikes on the back, which is kind of cool. I hope this is good for it and it does okay because I really like it. Um, well, now I'm going to do this Tritoscantia Nanook tricolor. It's got some damage on it from, I'm assuming, being too much in the window. I don't think it has anything wrong with it, but I could be wrong. Um, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. But I'm gonna rip off all of the bad crusty leaves real quick. Especially the ones that are just like not even hanging on at all. So I'm gonna put some regular dirt in there and I am gonna put a little bit of bark just because I really like that plant and I don't wanna lose it. So I'm gonna be as safe as possible with it. Um, we do have a drainage hole, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Plus, these are pretty easy plants generally, so I'm sure it'll be okay. Okay, place in the roots a little bit. It is very dry because it has not been watered in a little while. I'm just going to keep a hold of it here. Put some more dirt in. trying my best not to let it get too spread out, but I do still want it to have its own 
space to even grow bigger. All right, and I think that'll do it for this one. This is our Tratoscantia Nanook. I don't know if I said that right, but I tried. It needs watered, so hopefully it perks up. Okay, what's next on the list? This guy. This is my Domino Peace Lily. And we're just gonna repot it in a pot with some normal soil. I want it to hold as much moisture as possible, so I got a plastic pot. Um, it does have a drain hole, but it has one of the like built-in trays too. So um, I'm just putting normal dirt in this one because we don't really need a ton of drainage here because I need to water it literally, it seems like every day, like 16 times a day, it feels like sometimes. So we're just putting regular old dirt in here. And grab this bad boy out. It's very root bound, but um, I could be wrong, but I believe peace lilies actually like that. The roots do look very good though. Like I've been doing a pretty good job with this one, so I'm proud. They're very white. Quick. Um, that looks okay. Okay, so this is my repotted Domino Peace Lily. Gorgeous. We're gonna go ahead and put this uh, we're gonna have to be really careful with it, but it's a tiny rattlesnake plant growing. It died and decided to come back. I figured I'd put it in a smaller pot to kind of like get more of a opportunity to get some good roots without feeling the need to like fill that whole space. So I'm just gonna take that small little little itty bitty one and put it in here. Uh, yeah, so that is the little tiny rattlesnake plant and hopefully it grows if not. Welp, we tried. This alligator fern, okay. Here's the thing with this one. I, I'm like really annoyed with it because I don't know what I'm doing really wrong with it, but it just like won't grow right and it gets like so funked up um but basically what I was gonna do was just repot it in the same pot that it's already in I just wanted to clean it up a little bit on camera with you guys just gonna grab it out loosen up the dirt that's already at the bottom loosen up the top put that dirt at the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and just shove this in there um like so <laughs> and add some dirt to the top. Here is our repotted alligator plant more cleaned up. Hopefully it does okay. Okay y'all, so I got some wicker baskets from Lowe's that have bags lined in them for dirt. So basically, I'm gonna put my Monstera in here and put a lot of bark in because my Monstera right now already has a ton of bark and let me tilt it up a tad my Monstera is like a mess so this is gonna be fun but we'll try to knock it out quickly Uh, I'm just going to try to lift it out of there and see if I can get it in. Dang, look at that. Look at those roots. Nice. Okay, I'm going to loosen it a tad. See what we can do. In.
also if anyone is still watching and you are interested in Animal Crossing, I have been streaming it on Twitch. Um, my Twitch name is Haley and Bloom, just like YouTube here. And I try to stream there at least once a week because um, of school, but ideally I would be streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, but that's a little too busy for me right now. So I'm trying to do at least once a week. And also, uh, I figured I'd mention because it should be coming in soon. I ordered the Animal Crossing slash ColourPop collection. I could not get every single piece of it, but I got most. And I will be doing a makeup look with it on my channel. But this is the Monstera <laughs> repotted in this wicker basket. And now we're gonna do my other plant real quick. Variegated rubber tree. And this is the bigger basket in the set that you get from Lowe's. I'm just gonna do what I did with the last one and stick it down in there and fill it with dirt and such. And grab this bad boy I'm out of here. This one again is a little dry but we're gonna stick it in here. Lift the string up a little because I tied it. It needs retied but again I'll retie it off camera. Loosen the dirt a tad. grab a little bit more dirt and fill that up but I'm gonna do that off camera just because I am short on time that is what it's gonna look like so anyways that was a little bit of a mess but that's okay I hope you guys liked that video and I hope it was a little bit entertaining for you guys or maybe just relaxing I have to get ready for work, so I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and say a couple things real quick. So, if you would like to know more about when I'm uploading or when I'm streaming, you can follow me on my Facebook page, which is at Haley and Bloom. You can follow me on Instagram at Haley and Bloom, and my Twitch is at Haley and Bloom. I think that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please give me a like and comment something if you like me you can subscribe and see what else is coming animal crossing makeup tutorial coming soon um <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys